Hello and welcome to the shop. Today I've got an idea for a pen blank that I want to work on and it's mostly just for fun. It combines two techniques that I've used in previous videos into a single pen blank and I'm going to call the pen or this particular style pen my back to school pen. Now I realize it is almost May and school's about to get out but if any of you guys want to make one of these it'll give you a good head start for next year. So let's have a little fun and make a back to school pen blank. Here are some of the supplies I'll be using to make this blank. I'm going to start off by splitting this blank in half and gluing it back together with a few denim strips between the two pieces of wood. I'm just going to take the blank and just make a nice random cut uh, to separate the two pieces. What I want to do is go ahead and saturate the blank with a little medium CA glue. Apply the denim. Make sure it fits down into the, the little curved sections. Now we're going to saturate the denim with a little CA glue. Put the top on, make sure the blank lines up as best as we can. Let's start applying some clamps. That looks pretty square. Okay, looks like it lines up pretty good at that end. A couple of more clamps on here. Trying not to get CA glue all over myself or the clamps. Now what I'm going to do is go off camera and I'm going to shoot whoops, CA on my hand. I'm going to shoot this whole thing with a little bit of activator. After a spritz with the activator, the CA glue is dry. We can go ahead and remove our clamps. And then I'll take this over to the bandsaw and I'll just run it through the bandsaw just to cut this excess denim off. Um, that'll just clean the blank up a tiny bit. Got the blank cleaned up, looking pretty good. Now we're just going to go make a nice random cut along the opposite side. With our latest cut done on the scroll saw, you can take a look at the inside of the blank and see that there are no gaps along the, the seam where we put the denim. The nice thing about using something like denim is it conforms to the cut and really fills all the gaps. Now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and cut a second piece of denim and get that glued between these two halves. Got the blank all cleaned up. I think it's looking really nice. I always love putting denim in a blank. What I want to do now is drill a couple of holes and we're going to insert some colored pencils in those holes.
go ahead and start gluing some of these in. We'll set this aside and let it dry. The glue has dried enough on my back to school blank that I can go ahead now and cut these pencils off flush with the blank. A little more drying time for the glue and we'll be ready to put this on the lathe and turn it. While the wood glue is drying, I thought this might be a good time to go ahead and apply a little thin CA to the pins. And what that'll do is it should soak in and help solidify the fibers and hopefully help uh, solidify the ink, uh, the not the ink, the uh, lead into the pencils. You can see it just soaking in like crazy. Both the CA and the tight bond have completely dried on my back to school blank. I'm ready now to go ahead and turn it. What I'm gonna do, this video was more about how to make the blank. So I'm gonna shut the camera off and I'm just gonna relax and enjoy turning this. And I'll come back and show you what the final pin looks like. I know that I initially said I was going to finish this blank and get it put into a pin kit and then come back and show it to you. But I have an opportunity here. There's a question that I get asked all the time, and I thought I would take this moment to give you guys a quick tip. You see the colored pencils, and you know as I start to sand this, the sandpaper is going to uh, loosen up some of the uh, crayon in those pencils, and it's going to smear it all over, the, all over the blank. The same thing might happen if you were to put a piece of light wood like maple against a piece of darker wood like, say, paduke, and you're sanding the paduke, it will pollute and stain the maple. What you can do is, I'm just getting ready to start sanding. I have not touched this with sandpaper. I'm going to take a coat of thin CA glue, just like I would be finishing the pen, and I'm gonna put a coat of thin CA over the entire surface of the, the blank, just one coat, let it dry naturally, no accelerator. Once it's dry, it'll be like a sanding sealer. It'll seal all the pores in the wood. I can go ahead and sand, and it will not smear, or it should not smear, and cause staining of the wood. So I just want to share that with you. And what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and finish this pin and I will come back and show it to you once it's done. I've got my blank finished and truthfully, I think it looks absolutely amazing. Just see how it shines, isn't that beautiful? The denim looks incredible. The colored pencils look great. Notice there's no smearing. That little tip about the thin CA worked great. I'm really happy with how that looks. I've gone ahead and pressed the cap and the clip into the back end. I pressed the nib into the front tube and I pressed the transmission to the back of that tube and I adjusted it so that it works perfectly. And I got to the point where I was ready to insert this into my pin blank when I realized something. Right there, I had a little bit of chip out on the wood where it's right next to the denim. So I just, no big deal. I always try to fix those things. I put a little medium CA in there and I fixed that and what happened is I've glued the front tube into the blank. Right along that rim there, that front tube is glued in and I have been fighting it uh, with a disassembly tool trying to get it out and I cannot remove it. I do have some CA debonder, but I hate to use that because it's gonna kill this finish. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and call this done. This video was more about building the blank than it was about building the pin and the blank was a complete success. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The pen was a mistake on my fault or my part where with the with the CA. I should have thought about that. I mean, obviously, when you have uh, something that's chipped to the tube and you try to fix it with CA, the CA is going to adhere to the tube. I really hope you like the blank, and I hope some of you give this a try. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon.